You're watching Africa Live. A look at the top stories this hour. Trade, climate change, and the migration crisis rank high on the agenda during this year's summit in Hamburg. This is many watch actions by the United States following its withdrawal from the Paris Accord and also with President Trump's America First policy. During this summit Saturday, U.S. President Donald Trump met with British Prime Minister Theresa May and said he hoped the U.S. can quickly seal a bilateral trade deal with the United Kingdom. Kenya is in mourning following the death of its internal security minister, Joseph Nkaiseri. According to the country's head of public service, Joseph Kenya, the minister passed away shortly after being admitted at an Nairobi hospital for a checkup. Nkaiseri's death comes exactly a month before the country holds a general election. The retired major general has been widely credited for curbing frequent attacks in Kenya by the Somali terror group Al-Shabaab. Faced with a worsening economic crisis, the Democratic Republic of Congo has formally requested for international support to help avert a serious catastrophe. The country has sent a formal letter to multiple international agencies, including the United Nations, the European Union and the African Union, requesting urgent funding. And Saudi Arabia, UAE, Bahrain and Egypt released another threat of sanctions against Qatar this week. The four Arab countries who are accusing Qatar of funding and supporting terrorism say they will take necessary measures to be announced at a suitable time. Officials from the four countries met in Cairo on Wednesday after a 12-day ultimatum they gave Doha expired. That's a wrap of the top stories.